Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rigs of Rods. Um, I'm doing another review today. We are on the Mitt City map. This is the Mitt City map. Don't ask me in the comments what map this is. This is the Mitt City map. Links in the description. Just wanted to get that out of the way. All right, so today we are going to be reviewing another school bus because it just got suggested to me by a few people. Well, it's another SAF T liner C2. Um, I know we just did one. Uh, this is a 2007. I'm not exactly sure what year this is supposed to be. It doesn't say. I'm sure it said somewhere in the, uh, the forums what year it was supposed to be. But anyway, we're going to be doing this one. This bus was made by um, this guy. This is his forum name. Uh, at least that's who it was released by. I'm not sure exactly who made it, but um, author, Brickman, that guy. There you go. That's who made the bus. That's who made the bus. Um, yes, so we're just going to look at it. Now, I have a feeling this review is going to be pretty pretty short. All right, so um, here's the bus. So we're just going to get out, I guess. We'll look around the outside here. It is a very odd shape. I'm not going to try and talk too bad about this bus. I mean, I couldn't, I don't, well, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't know how to do this, but I'm sure if I learned. Anyway, I'm not going to say any more. So this is exactly like the other bus we had. Um, looks pretty similar. I like the black tires. I do like that. Let's go over the things I like first, okay? Let's, let's put it that way. I like the black tires. I like the black around the windows and the door. I like that a lot. Um... I have a way of looking. Oh, I do. Good. Uh, the textures for the lights and the school bus are okay. Nothing bad about them. I like how it's blank. I actually do like that. How there's no text here. It doesn't say ROR schools. I like how there's no number or anything. I like that. I think the textures around the back here are just about the same as the other ones were. Uh, stop signs are pretty similar. The root, the, the curves seem to be very flat. I'm not sure, like, I don't, I'm not familiar with the style of bus. I have bluebirds at my school. That's what I'm familiar with. But, um, it just seems pretty flat. I guess we can look at the inside here. Um, I'll get inside to do that. God, where am I walking? Dude, you're walking the wrong way, dude. Okay, we're looking backwards. Let's fix, let's fix that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, that, all that I'm liking. I like, I'm liking the black versus any kind of silver. I wish if this was black, I think that would look pretty good. I'm not sure if you're going for realism. I'm not sure if there are Thomas buses out there that are like that. I have no idea. Um, yeah. Jeez, I'm walking all the wrong directions. These seem big, but I'm not quite sure. Like I said, not a Thomas bus person. Not familiar with them. Besides that nothing else that light looks a little bigger in the top than it does at the bottom I'm just gonna point that out I'm going really in depth here because I can be the last video wasn't super in depth about the review of everything and I'm sorry about that it's supposed to be a review but um yes yeah, so everything else looks pretty decent tires look okay they don't look disproportional I'm not sure if this the length here is correct it seems that there's a lot of tail hanging off there a lot behind the axle there it's but I don't know I don't know everything else looks good good reflections there's not any odd shapes or anything I mean you got this going on right here but that's not something I'm really gonna bitch about that's the very minuscule thing I'm just a perfectionist the exhaust I'm really not liking I just saw it now. I didn't notice it before. It's very shiny. I'm not a fan of the shiny. We have square lights on the stop signs here. Not sure if that's how it is. Sorry, I should have like looked at a picture of a bus or something. One of these buses. Look how look at these mirrors, how much there is. Is that one like that too? Yeah, there seems to be a lot of distance between the back of the mirror and the front. And they almost come to a point. That might be like that in real life. The bug eye mirrors seem pretty big too. 
Anyway, I'm going to get inside. We're going to stop talking about random stuff I'm looking at. Um, changing view is C, Alex, not the numbers. Okay, so when you get in the bus, it makes that beeping noise, which I assume are the electrics. The electrics. Um, can I zoom in? Oh, oh, we are moving. Oh, that's what I just did. Okay, put the bargain brake on. Bargain brake, peak. There we are. I forget all the buttons. Um, that sounds decent. I didn't even have my speakers turned up enough. I'm like, is this bus on? I didn't even realize it. These switches look okay. I'm going to assume it's all the same controls as other buses. And I guess I was wrong to assume that. Uh, hello? Okay, that's that. And the stop arms. Okay. That's the door, probably. Yes. Oh, lordy lord. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. You gotta be really skinny to get in this bus. This was, I just want to point out, this is the second version that was released of this bus. I'm really happy I never saw the first, and I hope they don't make a third. Because, honestly, if you're going to make something, make it right. How could you even release it if you knew this happened? I don't understand why you would do that. Okay, in order to enjoy this bus, you just got to close your eyes and just listen to it. And everything's so, it's like this is all foggy over here, what the hell? Everything else is clear except this window. It's like you can't look left. Don't look left. Okay, so we got those. What else? What other buttons do I got? We got the doors that don't open. Why is my mirror over there? Is it supposed to be like that? That's really odd. It's like the mirror is meant to look behind you. Like you'd think if you're driving, you just look up to look back, not look over to the side. I'm not gonna. Maybe it's like that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain about it. What other things do I got here? None of these buttons are doing anything. Let me just make sure I'm still recording. Yes, I am. I'm using a different software now, and I don't have, I can't accidentally end the recording. The only way I can end the recording is by going out and clicking stop, not by clicking F8 again. So I was clicking F8, and I'm like, shit, am I fucking this up? No, I'm not. Okay, so none of the other Fs seem to do anything. I can't open any of the emergency exits. Or the is the back door open? Is the back door open? It kind of looks open. Oh, nope. Wait, how did I turn you on? Okay, so it is the same controls for these. So those are LEDs, but the stop signs are incandescent, which I isn't really right. Maybe you can order the buses like that? I really highly doubt it, though. I would think if you have LED up here, you'd have LED over here. And the textures seem to be a little floaty. No, they're not really that bad. They're pretty good. Pretty good. Well, not pretty good. They're not bad. It's, they're not bad. Um, I might be cutting my head off now that I sat up. I don't know. Editing Alex should fix that. Okay, so I would I I thought that I'd be able to see whether or not they were on in here, but these don't do anything, and they don't move when you um, open your wonky door. Mm, one of my things I like is that all the mirrors work. I mean, you can't really see that one, but does any one of these buttons open that window? Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. So, now, we haven't even gotten to the favorite part of my bus yet. Hang on. So I'm going to put it in the first gear now. Listen to this. It makes this sound no matter what gear you are in. All right? It makes that sound. I have my parking brake on, but that doesn't matter. What in the hell's that? What is that? Okay, we're going to stop so it goes away. Please go away. Okay. Okay, here's my second favorite thing, okay? That clipping, though. That is amazing. 
If you're watching, Mr. Creator, I did a video on my old channel. It's how to make sirens for GTA 4, and I talk about doing this and same same concept. So watch that video and make a new horn for your third release. Fix this door over here because that's booty. And um yeah. Uh the lights seem to be gigantic. I don't know what else to say. Another plus, I like the gray seating. Thank you for making gray seats and not blue or green or any other weird color. Okay, so we're just going to get out of that and pretend to... Oop, my stop. My lights are still on. Let's just... We're going to get out of that and pretend it doesn't exist for a moment. And we're going to run this way. And we're going to jump because the game doesn't like me. And we're going to go in here. And we're going to get the one I reviewed in the last video. This one will do. Okay. Oh, Lord. Why am I inside it? Okay. So, I believe this one's a little older. It, I think this is an older model, but... Ooh, the numbers and stuff are weird on it for some reason. I didn't even pay attention to the engine sounds on the other vehicle, but I don't think they were all that great. We're just going to do a quick a quick looky here and Okay. So front wise, these textures look like they were glued on. Like it looks like you printed these out from a printer and just stuck them on. I mean, these actually they're like the right size and stuff. Oh my god, that that arm that comes out the front is actually inside the bumper. It comes through the bumper. That's a wonderful little touch there. I love that. Um, yeah, so uh, this bus is a little smaller. It's a little shorter, too. But, yeah, so uh, that's my review. You can judge it however you want. I went over the entire thing. I'm pretty sure none of the windows or the emergency exits open. Um, unlike this bus, the windows open and all that good stuff. At the end of this video, I'll have a, an annotation. You can check out my last review for this bus here. But, um, yeah, if you want to, if you want to download this bus and you want to, you want to discover how awesome it is yourself, then you can click the link in the description. I'll also have this bus over here linked. Um, it's actually a pain in the butt to download this bus. Um, you have to go to this website, become a member, and you need to have so many posts before you can download anything. So you pretty much just spam posts everywhere, and then it still didn't work, so I just got it from someone else. And yeah, so it was so worth that hour, hour and a half I spent getting it. Regardless, um, links in the description for both of these buses. Whoa, I just had like a stroke. Links in the description for both of these buses, along with the map, which is Mitt City. The map is Mitt City. And, um, yeah, you can be the judge of which bus you like better. Um, if any of the developers or creators or people who help make this bus are watching, I'm not trying to offend you. Maybe I am. I'm not sure. Take it however you want. I really don't care. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see other Rigs of Rods videos I do in the future. I always do reviews like this of uh, new vehicles that are linked to me or messaged to me. So if you have any other vehicle you'd like me to review or if you know of any upcoming ones, feel free to give me links when they come out. Um, don't give me work in progress or anything like that because I'm going to forget and I'll never get to it. But um, anything new that's released, feel free to send me a link. I'll be happy to uh, do a review on it because I need more content. I'd like to put more Rigs of Rods videos out, but I don't have anything to review, so feel free to send me links, and also uh, subscribe if you'd like to see other races. I said that already, didn't I? Um, thank you guys so much for watching, anyway, and uh, have a great day. Oh, that's a boulder, you dumb. Oh, there's not even... Oh, there's the bomb. That's why it didn't explode, because it's not a bomb. That's a bomb.
Fui.